Hello everyone welcome to read up and refresh your memory today i would like to share types of tables let's get into the topic basically tables are of four types first one frequency distribution table contingency table third one multiple response table and miscellaneous table frequency distribution table contingency table multiple response table and miscellaneous table first one frequency distribution table this table present the frequency and percentage distribution of the information collector what are the information we collected this frequency distribution table helps to present the frequency and the percentage distribution of the information here the attribute is grouped into number of classes which may vary between 3 and 8 classes if the classes or groups are too many or few groups or classes it may fail to reveal the important feature of the data so another thing we kept in mind that is very important that is the class or group interval or kept constant following is the example of frequency distribution table here the example given for frequency distribution table is shows you demographic profile of the patient here it grouped into age gender education status marital status and habitat next we move on to contingency table what is contingency table table that report the frequency distribution of two nominal variable simultaneously what is nominal variable nominal variable is a type of variable categorize a particular variable that are being measured we called as nominal variable so in contingency table that include the total we called as contingency table the category considers should be mutually exclusive as well as exclusive what is exclusive it means they cannot both occur at the same time that is called exclusive then what is exclusive it means that one of them must occur so the category is considered should be mutually exclusive as well as exclusive both cannot occur at some uh, same time but one of them must occur then observation observation cannot be on the categories okay so observation cannot be on this categories so contingency table is also known as cross table which present the frequency distribution of two or more variable to establish the relationship or association among them so in contingency table is used to study the correlation between the two variable here the two variable a table showing the distribution of one variable in row and another variable in column the table could be 2 into 2 two variables or 2 into 3 variables or 3 into 3 depending upon the depending on the number of the variable the table could be 2 into 2 2 into 3 or 3 into 3 which the subjects are cross classified the number of subject in the cell the number of subject in the cell we called as cell frequency so on small contingency table is also known as cross table which present the frequency distribution of two or more variable mainly the contingency table is used to study the correlation between two vari- variables it helps to study the correlation between two variable these table could be 2 into 2 2 into 3 or 3 into 3 depending on the number of the variable it can be changed here the subject is cross cross classified the number of subject in a cell we called as cell frequency these table are generally used in hi square test here there is a table 
is the example of 2 into 2 contingency table. In this, there is a two nominal variable, one in row and another in column. Here we see the example. Type of ventilation and daily bowel movement among patient. Type of ventilation and daily bowel movement among patient. Here one is in row and another one is in column. So here two nominal variable. One is present absent, then there is mode of ventilation, spontaneous ventilation and mechanical ventilation. Here it is cross-checked whether spontaneous ventilation is present. A mechanical ventilation is present or absent. So this is cross-checked. So here the subject is cross-classified. So this is the contingency table here is 2 here in row there is 2 present absent in column mode of ventilation spontaneous ventilation and mechanical ventilation so next we move on to multiple response table what is multiple response table when classification of the cases is done into categories that are neither exclusive nor exclusive what is exclusive both cannot occur at same time that is called exclusive what is exclusive one of them must occur here neither exclusive nor exclusive then we call this multiple response table for example a patient can have two or more complaints but we mention major one okay major complaints but only the major one may be listed in such cases the sum total of frequency would exceed the number of subject maybe it exceed the number of subject and it leads to confusion so in such cases the total number of subject in such cases of multiple response is given as a base and from that the percentage can be calculated so we need to mention all the factors from the factor we need to calculate the percentage we don't know whether the patient having this factor or not so for example one disease we need so many factors but in our subject may have that complaint or not having so that time we need to mention the multiple factor and percentage can be calculated from this from the factor therefore the total number of subject in case of multiple response is given as a base and from this the percentage can be calculated example of multiple response table is given below here the factors contributing to sleep deprivation among patients here all the factors are mentioned contributing to sleep deprivation blood sampling diagnostic test medication vital signs monitoring noise bright light each patient has more than one factor maybe one factor or more than one factor so from here only the percentage is calculated so this is called multiple response table next we move on to miscellaneous table these tables are used to present data other than frequency or percentage distribution such as mean, median, mode, range, standard deviation and so on. A table is called miscellaneous. When we call it as miscellaneous table, if the presentation of data is not come under frequency distribution table, contingency table or multiple response table. If the table is not come under all these categories, then we called as miscellaneous table. Today we learn the types of table. Basically four types. Frequency distribution table, contingency table, multiple response table and miscellaneous table. I hope this video was useful. If you like this video, give it a like and share it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching this video.